going to talk about time, culture and memory. In other words, left bank group. Left bank was a group of filmmakers from the French New Wave movement beginning in the 50s. They were characterized by aesthetic experimentation and by subjective and intellectual themes different from the playful genre of their contemporaries Cahiers du Cinéma. Their films were characterized as essay films with themes related to the subjectivity of time, the perception of reality and political issues. Je ne suis pas responsable, dit l'officier. Je ne suis pas responsable. Alors, qui est responsable Eh bien, maintenant, Alain René, parlons un peu. Alain René is one of the most influential filmmakers in modern cinema. His cinematographic style is characterized by the way of telling non-linear stories, introducing experimental editing techniques, but also the use of time, space and memory. Je vous ai moi-même attendu longtemps. Dans vos rêves? In the movie Last Year at Maryband, René, influenced by experimental cinema, used editing to create uncertainty about the action of the film. <laughs> ah, mais moi je n'ai pas à donner spécialement mon explication. Je ne pense pas d'ailleurs que le film soit une véritable énigme. Je veux dire que chaque spectateur pourra trouver sa solution. Like René, Chris Marker introduces a theme with great significance in cinema and it raises a question that would become central to his work, the role of memory. Ceci est l'histoire d'un homme marqué par une image d'enfance. La GT, it's a science fiction film made exclusively with photographs, features a narrative with great aesthetic sensitivity about a time travel. To use stills, not use the conventional techniques of cinema, to tell a story, and yet he's doing it. Rien ne distingue les souvenirs des autres moments. Ce n'est que plus tard qu'ils se font reconnaître à leurs cicatrices. Thank you. You two wait outside. He's got a history, Doctor. The Why film was... served as an inspiration yeah, for many directors due violence. to its originality and irreverence. Insolence. An example of this phenomenon Violence. is the adaptation of the film Twelve Monkeys by Terry Gilliam. I don't think he's going to hurt us. You aren't going to hurt us, are you, Mr. Cole? Yes, sir. It is also visible to recognize the explicit references in the video clip Jump They Say by David Bowie, explaining the idea that this singer really came from the future. Many consider the basis of the film approach of Agnès Varda as an experimental thought. Like her left bank colleagues, Varda was also heavily influenced by other arts such as photography and literature. J'ai attendu qu'elles vieillissent. Ensuite, je les ai fait respirer. That's the way you look at things that make them beautiful. Cleo from 5 to 7 is the first feature film by Agnès Varda where themes such as the perception of time, the subjective and objective experience of time are constant throughout the film. Cine writing, a term created by the filmmaker to define her cinematographic method, stating that all elements of the film should contribute to its message. Is it Cory to a Vienu Varda? Yes. Then say I take two. Is it Cory to Varda? To a Vienu? Yes. 
Sound. Vous êtes la fille. Sound. Vous êtes... C.A. The daughter of a Jeanne Varda. In Sans Soleil, Chris Marker features a journey through time and space between cultures like Japan and South Africa. Chris constantly think about history and its avatars, uh, but nobody spend much time with Rousseau, which is constantly in that film. And that's, that is one of the great, great books about imagination. Literature in cinema is common in the left bank with great collaborations of poets and writers such as Jean Carroll, Rousseau and Margaret Dura. This group of filmmakers share the idea that stylistic experiences could be articulated with a political and cultural commitment. They made a paradigm shift in modern cinema. Il y a trois mots qui sont importants pour moi. Inspiration, création, partage. Est-ce que le cinéma est mort, est-ce qu'il est vivant ou est-ce qu'il va naître Il continue comme un fleuve. <rire>